I'm Drew Guth, and here's your USI Sports Update. The fight for the eighth and final spot in the GLVC tournament continues this weekend as the University of Southern Indiana's volleyball team hits the road. They will face William Jewell and Truman State. The Eagles are trailing Truman in the conference by just one match and are currently tied with William Jewell at 3-8. and eight. USI head coach Leah Mercer says this is an important weekend to make up some ground. A very, very important weekend when it comes to conference wins. So we're just taking it a match at a time. I actually just got done watching film on both of them. And when our offense is on and it's distributed and everyone's contributing, we usually come away on top. Tonight at 7, the Eagles will face the Cardinals of William Jewell. The short two-match road trip will conclude tomorrow at 3 with the battle against Truman State. Coming off their 7th straight GLVC title, the USI women's cross-country team is gearing up for the NCAA Regional. Transfer and breakout star Melina Greischka says she is ready to compete for the title. In the beginning of the season, I almost remember myself that it's early in season and that I should relax. And now I'm kind of excited to uh, compete at the higher level and I motivate myself uh, automatically. As for the men's team, they also claim the GLVC crown once again for the 13th year in a row, while head coach Mike Hilliard was named the GLVC Coach of the Year for the men. Coach Hilliard says the wins show just how good his teams are. All it says to me is our, our kids ran really well, you know, and that's all I really care about. See them go out and, and be able to hoist GLBC championship trophies. That means a lot to me. The coach of the year stuff is just, like I said, all that means is that our kids, our kids perform well on the day. The next meet for the men's and women's cross-country teams is the Division II Regional Championships on November 4th. It's winner go home for both the USI women's and men's soccer team. For the women, they will open up the first round of GLVC tournament on the road after a 2-1 loss on Wednesday night. The Eagles will head to Bellarmine to take on the Knights, who they played to a scoreless double overtime draw in the last meeting. Women's head coach Eric Shanestein says this is just another game. When you hit the tournament, you just throw all the past out and you just prep for the moment. The women will open things up on Sunday at 11 at Bellarmine. On the men's side, they grabbed a big win on Wednesday to get into the GLVC tournament and will also be on the road to start things off. The Eagles will travel to Maryville, who USI lost to earlier in the year 2-0. For the rematch, head coach Matt Santoro says it will be about taking it to Maryville. They're a really good team, and we know that, and they're going to be a really good team. I think we were playing very loose. We were still kind of in our funk when we played them the first time, and we know a little bit more about what we need to do. The men play at 3 on Sunday against the Saints.